to answer. I very often, I had tears of laughter because he is so funny. I mean, if you take a story like Ti Kwai Lee, you take Ti Kwai Lee. Now, Ti Kwai Lee, I think, is a, a fabulous story for the modern world. If you know the story, and many of you here will know uh, the eight immortal uh, Ti Kwai Lee. He's a very handsome young man. And he kind of thinks that to become an immortal would be very kind to all the ladies of the world because then they could continue to see how very, very handsome he was. So he looks after himself. And he has a disciple, and one day he goes astral traveling. He travels out of his body. And he leaves his body with his disciple. And uh, in Taoist tradition, if you're gone for more than seven days, then your body dies. And of course, you cannot achieve immortality in Taoism without a physical body. So he goes away. But on the sixth day, his disciple is looking after his body on the sixth day, Someone runs up to the disciple and says, your mother is ill. Come and see her. She's dying. So filial piety or loyalty to his master. So he waits and waits and waits. And then he decides his master's not coming back. So he burns his body. And about half an hour later, Ti Kwai Li travels back. Where's his body? It's just a pile of ashes on the floor. So he has, he's got about 10 minutes in which to find a body or he will never achieve immortality. He looks desperately around and he disappears into this body and he thinks, oh, thank God. Whew, that was close. Then he tries to get up and he can't get up because he, he tries to get up and his body's like this. He can't work out what it is and he's, he's got this hump on his back and he, he's crippled like this and his face is kind of like this. And he finds a puddle and he looks in the puddle and he goes, ah! Because there's this terrible face. And he's gone into the body of a crippled, hunchback, wizened beggar. And it's in that form that he has to spend the rest of his life as an immortal. Now the wonderful thing about that story is it's saying what we think of as valuable, fantastic looks, beautiful body, no. What's really valuable is the heart. And Ti Kwai Li becomes the great champion of the beggars, the poor, and the outcast. So why do I like Taoism? Because it has stories like that, that are more profound than any great philosophy, but they also make you laugh.